mind, there's a whole rage about people cooking in one pot. Well, one of the most successful ways to do that is a beautiful Dutch oven. It's been used for years and years and years. Now you can go to a very, very famous French website and you can buy their Dutch oven and you'll spend between two and $300. Well, how about one that's under 40 that has a lot higher, better features than that very expensive one and we have it for you today. And we're so excited because this is one of our brand new items today. And Stephanie Roberts, one of our great foodies and chefs here at HSN joins me. Hi, Steph. Hey, great to see so you. So I know you are so excited. Oh she's my. so funny. And I've been on with Stephanie for years. <laughs> she came in, she's like, this is the greatest. This thing. is the best. <laughs> no, this is a game changer in my kitchen. And I'll tell you why. First of all, the one pot cooking revolution. Hello, Huge. let's sear the steaks. Let's cook the vegetables. Let's do a little to glazing. And let's get it on the table as fast and as easy as possible. But you have to have a pan that can handle it all. This is what the Rock One Pot is doing. So it has that thick forged aluminum base. Look at the color of these steaks. These are absolutely gorgeous. For me to get this kind of sear, this kind of even heating, I have to have the right stuff doing the job on the bottom. But at the same time, I want to be able to throw in some asparagus here and not have it stick. And in just a minute, I'm going to put on some wine to deglaze the pan, and I don't want it to stick. That requires the right technology. So let me explain to you why the rock is called the rock and why it is different than everything else out there. This pan is actually made by a process called shot peening. Those are little baby metal pieces that are making little dings, little dimples on the surface of the pan. And I kind of thought, all right, why do I want a pan with a bunch of nicks in it? Well, the surface is like that of a rock. It is not completely smooth. So what all those little dings and dents are doing is putting a little air pocket between your food so that I have the gorgeous sear, the gorgeous color of my steak, but nothing is sticking because of the surface of the pan. It's almost like a little pebble texture. In fact, I want you to feel it for me. Sure. Here, I'm gonna give you this one because it's not on a hot both one. sides. No, that's not a hot one. <laughs> Do you feel what I mean? Hurt. It's almost yeah, like an it's orange crazy. peel. It's got that little rough texture. Yeah. So because of that little rough texture, nothing can stick. That's so great. there's the difference. So what it is, is it's a non non-stick surface, but not a chemically treated non-stick pan. Wait, which means, hello, more durability, and it's dishwasher safe. Absolutely. Oh, so think awesome of everything you can't stand about having a non-stick pan, right? You want to be able to put it in the dishwasher. Right. You don't want the chemicals. You don't want it to peel. Every single one of these problems has been solved by the rock. And oh, by the way, because it's that high quality aluminum, I can sear my steaks, I can saute my shrimp, but yet I can do an amazing deglaze. And here, watch this. This will make you nervous. I know. I was just <laughs> going to mention that too. I'm like, metal utensils. I, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to tell you something funny. I was sitting there thinking, well, it's not on my card, but can you really use metal utensils? Oh, yeah. Here we because go. Because normally it's non stick. You got to baby that stuff. No. You get one scratch in it, and all of a sudden your scrambled eggs look like they have weird pepper on them. Okay, so think about this pan. <laughs> they have already shot metal pieces at oh, it. Good point. Right? I mean, this pan <laughs> is already true. been through the works so that you and I can work with it endlessly. I just threw in some wine, threw in a little butter, threw in a little rosemary. I'm going to let that thicken up for just a minute. So there's the texture thing, right? We've got the rock Wait. surface. Can I She's getting very excited too. about no, something behind because me. Because the other thing too is I just wanted to pick one up because if you've seen those French ones that are $300, oh, yeah. I swear they weigh about 300 pounds. They must be a dollar per pound or exactly. something like that. I don't really know, but they're heavy. Watch this you guys I and I have not picked this the first time I picked it up with my pinkies yep. so you get all the benefits of that very expensive very versatile Dutch oven but you do not have that crazy weight and honestly if a pan's too heavy for me I subconsciously or consciously won't even pull it out from under the sink or exactly. under the cabinet then because the menu put the food in it and then it weighs 300 pounds I'm like gosh this is exhausting very lightweight but crazy durable now we have two colors we have this beautiful red finish and then we also have the classic now I want to point out too that same feel that you get on the inside of mm -hmm. both is on the outside of the black pans. We have black, we have the red. The red just has um, a gloss, a, a gloss coating, yep, a on red it, gloss coating. Isn't that beautiful? Five quarts, this which huge. is huge. huge. Yep. yep. So you've got your volume. This is why one pot cooking is amazing. Okay. Here's my next other favorite thing to do with this. I just put in some water. I put in an entire pound of pasta. Didn't Drop. have to break it. It fits right across there. That's Gets right. even better. So you think, oh right, she's going to cook her pasta and then she's going to drain it and add some things. No, I'm not going to drain a thing. Now I'm going to put in <laughs> cooked sausage, little chorizo. Wow. This recipe, by the way, in the book, best one pot cooking recipe book I have seen comes to you with this. So if you're thinking, well, I don't really know what I'd 
throw all in one pot. We're going to tell you. I'm throwing in some basil, some garlic. This is an Italian masterpiece, literally in minutes. Mushrooms. This is my kind of cooking. We're going to throw it all in a pot. We're going to turn the heat down, and we're going to go do something else. Because I don't want to be stuck in front of the stove. On a weeknight, I don't have time. On a weekend, there's other things I'd rather be doing. So here it all goes. We've got pasta. We've got onions. We've got oh tomatoes, mushrooms. It is all in the pot. Again, because of that forged aluminum thick base, the heat is perfectly even on every edge. See that lip there? That is amazing for sauteing too because it keeps it from being a mess. Now I'm going to put a lid on this. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. We're going to let it simmer and we can walk away. We're going to come back in and 20 minutes and dinner is done. And One don't pot cooking. And the lid's included, okay? And remember, Absolutely. this is oven safe. It's so safe. So safe. You, can, uh, you can actually um, put it on the table and eat out of it if you want to. Oh, it's gorgeous. It will become one of the most versatile, versatile pieces in your kitchen because it's five quarts. And you know what I really like? Hmm. It's not five quarts tall. Oh, right. I like the fight that's five quarts a little wider. It's five quarts and useful. Useful, yes. And tall, <laughs> I'm always like, what do you do with the upper part of it? This is five quarts spread out brilliantly. Also, too, if you've not heard of the company before, they've actually been around since 1985. Yes. So you say, well, I don't know what uh, Starfreed is. 1985, really coming up with unique innovations, i.e., this brand new nonstick that's crazy popular. Okay, watch this. We seared ste steaks in it. We did a little deglaze with red wine and butter. This should be a mess. Had I done this in a normal aluminum or tri-ply or any of those pots, you're scrubbing right now, and you're in there going like this, and it's not fun. This is a casual wipeout. That is the difference because the surface has been what they call shot peened, literally struck with metal objects, which creates a texture which keeps things from sticking. This is what has happened to this pot before it gets to you. And I love that because that means it's got the durability going already there. Because of that surface, the little dimples that are there, absolutely nothing will stick to it. So it has got the heat retention, the even heating, everything you love, love, love about cooking with expensive cookware, but nothing is going to stick because of the process they've used. We are so sure nothing is going to stick that we're going to do a couple fried eggs. I just wiped this out with the damp cloth. So it's cloth. totally dry. Totally dry. Okay. No nonstick spray, no butter, no oil, no nothing. Plop an egg in there, start to slide around a little bit, and it'll cook for me. Put another egg in there. We'll come back in a couple seconds. Let that get a little warmer. I just turned it up. And you'll see, that's it. I'm not going to do a thing to it. We'll check we'll back in back. with there. Uh, remember, too, this is a 10-year warranty. G gang, that's huge. You know, this is not one of those $300 Dutch ovens that has a nice warranty uh, to it. It's under 40 And we have four flex pays on this, too, which is under $10. And that's easy. Use any major credit card. If you have PayPal, you actually can use that as an option. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you apply for our HSN card today, guess what? Let's see. Four flex, it's five dollars. Okay, so it's basically forty dollars off whatever you're buying. So other than the shipping and handling, it's free. So you pay a little five dollars shipping and handling, you're done. Isn't that cool? So literally, if you get the HSN card right now, you basically are going to be able. We'll pay for it, is what we're doing, because you get forty dollars off whatever it is you put on that card at the moment you get it. Hello, good time to do that. Absolutely. Um, so what did I just FYI, put in there? Red, totally exclusive to us, too. You cannot find the red anywhere else. I just threw in some shrimp. No oil, no butter, no nothing. We're not going to have anything sticking here. We're going to let that saute well, a little bit. Did you see Allie use your, uh, the, the Dutch oven without um, any? Oh, good. With, for yeah. the spiralizing. And she was using spiralizing. Perfect. Yeah. Right, because normally, oh, that stuff's hard to keep from sticking because right. it doesn't have any natural fats and juices in right. it. Right, exactly. I'm stirring, stirring, uh, stirring my pasta a little bit here, and I want wow. you to take a peek in there. This is just within minutes. Look what has happened to my noodles. They are cooking oh. beautifully. If you let the flavors of your food and the starches from the pasta all mix together, it turns into the most beautiful dish. This is why I'm in love with one pot cooking. I don't have to put in the man hours. We start to let the shrimp saute again, not putting anything in there. This is another great recipe. It's called sticky shrimp. Put in a little bit of honey, a little bit of soy sauce, let the flavors marinate together, throw in some green onions. And again, in minutes, I have an amazing meal on the table. I'm gonna check in with 
with my eggs. Remember, I think I'll use metal just to just make you, you nervous just again. Just show off. Just because I can. Metal. All right, I'm going to let those sit for just another That's second. Crazy. But I've got stainless steel handles. I've got a complete surface with the rock pebble tech technology on there so that I've got grooves in it. I don't have to worry about scratching it with my metal utensils. There's a 10 year warranty on this. I put it in the dishwasher, although honestly, you can wipe it clean with a yeah. wet cloth why, so you don't why need bother? to. <laughs> but you can do anything you've ever wanted to Wait, do with that. And just real quick, yes, this is induction. Yay, it yes. works on induction. Absolutely. So if you guys, if you have your induction burner from Ming or any of our great chefs here from Curtis, it will work on any of those induction burners it that we sell will. here at HSN. Or if you have an induction oven. I think that's a big differentiator, differentiator too. Because in the French fancy one, that doesn't work in induction. Absolutely, the it doesn't. The French fancy one that costs $300 will not work on induction. And it's not going to clean up like this. And this isn't going to stain like the French no, one. No, no. You Sorry, can do anything French to one. this. You can do any of this. Okay, I'm dying to go show you what's in the oven, but I got to do this first. I'm showing off a little. Wow. This is what I mean by nonstick. No spray, no butter, no oil, no nothing, and no nonstick <laughs> coating. It is the surface of the pan that is my workhorse. I am literally going to slide this very carefully because I'm short. Oh, I, I thought I could do it. <laughs> I'll flip it over. And it still works. That's what I get for showing off. But there you go. You get the point. I can get the surface. I can get the eggs. I can get absolutely you know what, anything I want. You know what's really that. interesting, too? If you're cooking for two or a team, this is going to have the capacity. Yet, I want you to see. This is what I really love about this. When you Let's guys trade. see it in my hand, what you'll see is a lot of times you see five quart, they're tall. Where do they fit? Nowhere. Right. Under your cabinet, they're just too tall. They're not. This is really nice because it's wider versus tall, except you still have a really nice depth to it. So you actually are cooking with more cooking surface. That's why it's a one potter. I would not say a one pot meal in a five traditional stock pot, right? That's not really a one pot meal Good when point. you're doing a stock pot. Good point. But this truly can be that. Absolutely. Okay, this is coming in hot, so don't touch. I just put shepherd's pie in the oven to show you how easy it is to go That's from great. stove top to oven. Again, this is safe to bake, safe to braise, safe to broil, safe to do absolutely anything well, you in. you can do a casserole in yes, it. Yes, and I love the look of it. I like serving with it as well as I like cooking in it. I love the glossy exterior. Yeah. So this is a recipe that comes to you in the book. Again, one pot cooking. All I did was I put a little bit of a sear on the chicken just to get that flavor on the outer edge. Mm -hmm. Then into the oven with carrots, butternut squash, parsnips, you name it. Talk more about baking. We've baked a cake mm -hmm. with peaches and blueberries. Five quarts two cake mixes, okay? Wow. I'm feeding four hungry boys. One cake doesn't work. Two cake mixes, perfect for the crowds, the entertaining. It does brownies. Again, just the way the shrimp releases and the eggs release, the brownies will release just as well. Dinner rolls, and in literally the 10 minutes that we've been standing here, I have dinner done up here on my that's, induction burger. That's awesome. Pasta, sausage, tomatoes, we are good to go. This is a workhorse, it'll do well, it all. And I'll tell you, if you bought the spiralizer and you want to use that, uh, oh, grab great. Idea. Yeah, I mean, great idea. Because again, you could spiralize all the veggies, put your meat in there. Talk about healthy, quick, fast eating, yep. but really good. And nothing cooks better than a Dutch oven. You can ask your grandma. Yep. Love their Dutch ovens, right? Now you've got the modern version of it. All right, thanks for joining us, Steph. Good to Steph, be here. Good to see you. Stay right there and on the line for that. Coming up next, we're going to talk about origami.